Bruce Miller only comes out with a brand new platform, a brand new bike every blue moon. And uh, sad to say, we, we missed the unveiling last year. We were just trying to keep, keep the shit together <laughs> at the new wheel. <laughs> keep the wheels on. Keep the wheels at on. At the new wheel. Hi, I'm Brett. And I'm Karin Wiener from the new wheel. And we are here today with the fantastic new family bike, cargo bike, utility bike from Reese and Muller, the multi-tinker. It's a small world. We had our Instagram, we knew what was going on, and we saw this and we were like, ooh, Reese and Muller is going to take a stab at a totally new form factor. And we kind of just had a spidey sense that it was gonna be good. We've been working with them for seven years and we know that when they do something, they do it really well, they do it right. So we ordered a lot of them. As far as family and cargo bikes go, Reese and Muller's assortment is enormous. They've done, they do dual suspension front loaders, they do single suspension front loaders. The, the multi-charger is like a kind of a standard size bike. Now they do the multi-tinker, which is the first compact family bike from Reese and Muller. And it is really, really cool. Yes, personally stoked to have the lower center of gravity, the smaller wheel. It's confidence inspiring and stable and really, really has the DNA of a recent Muller, even though it's a completely new bike. So the distinct thing about the multi-tinker is the frame. A lot of care and time was put into designing it, both from the perspective of a great design that looks good and modern, mm -hmm. but also how do we not add too much to make it stiff and strong, but not heavier than it needs to be. By the standards of a compact family bike, they've managed to keep the weight much, much lower. And also the balance, like you pick this up and you feel it and it just, and it, it's balanced correctly. When I first rode with Ida this morning on it, I hadn't ridden with any weight on the bike yet. And she was sitting way at the back of the bike, which on a lot of cargo bikes would give you a lot of handling issues. And it was totally manageable, which is really an important thing on your first test ride. Every detail that exists on this bike, it's like they've, they've pared down a lot of things, but the things that are here are incredibly important. Like, I mean, the adjustable stem on this bike really, really changes the character of the ride. This morning, I, was, I ride, rode Ida into school. Hands were a little uncomfortable and I was a little unsure. And, you know, we made a couple of adjustments and continued to ride and it felt great. And that's because you've got two sets of adjustments. You can adjust the, the handlebars toward yourself and away from you and also up and down. And that is really, really important on a shared bike. The handlebars can be positioned in many ways. For example, car in mode, upright car in, Sporty Karin, Aero Karin. Yeah. And then when I got on the bike, I brought up the handlebars, pivoted forward, no tools required, and now you're in like a really comfortable position for someone who's my height. Yeah, or like just if you're in a different mood. So there's two configurations to start. There's the Vario, which is belt drive with an Enviolo hub, and then there's the Touring, which is a chain drive with a sportier uh, Shimano transmission. Now. The Vario system is really simple operation. You can twist shift. There, it's a continuously variable transmission, so it doesn't have steps in the gears. And paired with a belt drive, it's super, super low maintenance. And the Touring setup is a chain setup. It's uh, just like a classic derailleur, except for it's got some important details because it uses Link Glide, which is Shimano's new answer to e-bike chain use and means that your chain will last longer. Um, and the ride feel is snappy, a little bit more sporty, quick shifting. Uh, if you're a really experienced bicycle riding rider, um, the likelihood is that you would enjoy the touring setup. I will say though, the uh, gearing on this bike is phenomenal. Yeah. Like all of the climbing I did today with Ida, not a problem at all. Uh, even on this version, which is Enviolo, the gearing is set up to be able to get you up those nice steep hills. So they have four really great colors. Petrol, which is AKA German blue, utility black, white, and then utility black with green curry colored racks. On all the configurations, the bikes share a common denominator of exceptional components. Braking system is the top end Magura four piston on the front and dual piston in the back. 
super e-bike specific robust uh, front suspension fork. Well, it's also a boost hub, so it means everything's wider on the front and it's a through axle. So it's safe, it's wide. The well-planted, stable connection that you have with the ground, I think is probably very highly linked to this oh, yeah. uh, boost front fork. Well, I'm always a big fan of all the decisions you don't have to make. And so they include fantastic tires. You've got Schwalbe Supermoto X front and rear tires, front and rear fenders, which means that there's low mess, even if you ride through mud, a cafe lock at the front, front and rear lights. The front light has a high beam, low beam option and is made by Supernova, which is a fantastic German company. The bike comes with footrests, foot guards, of course, the rear rack and the kickstand, which sits up all the way up into the frame really nicely so that it doesn't bounce around. And if you go over something bumpy, uh, you're not gonna bottom out on it. I think one of the coolest things that Risa Muller did was figure out a use for the white space and turn it into a waterproof bag that is lockable. So you can stick things in there when you're, when you're out and about and you don't want to have a bag with you or you just have small items like keys or phone or whatever, jacket even. It's big enough to fit quite a bit of stuff. Yeah, it's, the, it's capacious. The bike comes standard with a standard compact rack, which you can put a bag on top of. And then there's a, the standard rack with a bag, which you can drop different accessories um, into and you can put your phone in and it's waterproof. There's also the cargo rack, and then, which is what's on this bike here. Shout out to the strap mounting on the cargo rack, which I experimented with this morning. Ida had too it many backpacks. Great. She had two backpacks, as luck would have it. And we had to figure out how to get them both on the bike. And there are little eyelets at the bottom of the, fr of the rack. Super smart, useful design. There are two passenger kits available. There's a standard, passenger kit, which is like a stoker bar and seat cushion. And then there's the safety kit, which is on this bike here. And that's a full wraparound bar and seat cushion. And it has a nice inner, uh, inner cushion for the little handies to hold onto and are protected. The rear rack fits two child seats and you can fit two children just sitting on the rack as well on the cushion. If you have a kid that is older than an infant, you've got a really long lifespan on a bike like this because their legs can bend. And so you have just a very, very long runway in terms of your child's growth. You can configure the bike in a GX option. What that means on the multi-tinker is it's a knobby tire. So if you wanna do some trail riding or some loose, uh, you do a lot of loose terrain. You can also choose to configure the bike with a chain lock that mounts really conveniently underneath the saddle. And then you can take that off and loop it around some immovable object and plug it into the cafe lock on the front wheel and then lock the cafe lock. A centerpiece of this bike, of course, is the motor system. And Reese Muller is using the Bosch CX motor. Super high quality and it's a new smart system, which means it has two different options you can choose from when you're configuring your bike. There's the standard Intuvia, which is a black and white display and then there's the Kiox display. They're both um, Bluetooth, so they both attach to your phone, and your phone can also be your display. One of the features I really liked on this was that if when you tap the on-off button, um, it actually gives you a, an overview of everything you've just done. So I was just playing around with turning the, the bike off, I tapped the on-off button, and it told me, you know, I'd burned 200 calories and gone 11 miles or something like that, um, which is a really nice detail. One of the really intriguing and, and useful features of the electronics on this bike is a new level of assist called Auto. Um, and in the menu, it's just underneath the sport level. And what it does is it changes the level of assist based on your uh, effort and based on the terrain. So climbing a hill, you get lots of power, and when you're on a, a flat, um, it dials back on that and asks the rider to do a little bit more. And it really works. It's a set it and forget it. A family bike is your 20 minutes of serenity per day, right? You drop your kids off at school, 
and you have the luxury of going home. And you can either do that in a car or you can do it on like a wonderful bike and it is your 20 minutes of being alone and being calm and getting exercise and having some fresh air. And um, the quiet and the stability of this bike, I think support that experience really, really well. So who's this bike for? Well, I mean, at it's most basic. It's like, if you're in the market for a family bike, try this. You should try a variety of family bikes to find the bike that really fits you. But I think the kinds of people who are gonna really appreciate what this bike has to offer are people who have a really broad use case maybe for the bike. Like say there are multiple people who want to or need to be able to use it that's gonna be really effective. Um, people who maybe are a little bit nervous and need stability and need the kind of peace of mind that great engineering will, will actually give you when the rubber, rubber hits the road. From my experience, that's especially, for a rider like myself, I'm not like a big burly human. Um, and as my kid gets bigger, I need more, more stability and more security on the bike and that's why this would be a perfect bike for me yeah um, that also plays into like the sportiness of it and the funness mm -hmm. with this sort of quality and this sort of uh, robustness you can do anything on it uh, and and you can do it with your kids uh, or with your groceries yeah <laughs> well I mean I think that speaks to the kind of the fundamental na nature of the bike which is that you know Life is an adventure, and that's the kind of essential understanding of this product and this lifestyle and the potential of this that Reese and Muller totally aces. Yeah. Um, and that's what's, what's beautiful about, about the experience. So, if this sounds interesting to you, please come to our stores. We have a store in Marin, a store in Oakland, a store in San Francisco, and we've got the multi-tinker here for you to try. Come give it a ride. Thanks for watching.